In continuation with the series for how to use the LMS system, today, right now I'm going to discuss with you how to add a specific participant from your EduGate library to your LMS system. If you will ever notice that there is a tab called as participants in your LMS at the left side, you will be able to see all the participants who are currently enrolled inside the system. As a teacher, you have the accessibility and power to enroll new students in the system as such. For that, you must know exactly the enrollment number or the university ID of your students. So, in case, if I will quickly go to my EduGate login, and I'll be able to log in with my user ID and password, I will be able to see the list of all the students who are enrolled with my courses. In case, if I want to say, for example, register a student in my simulation and modeling course from the information that is available, I can just copy his email, not the email address, sorry. I can copy the enrollment or the student number from the university, and I will go back to the participants tab. I have to click on the enroll user so that a drop down menu will come up and in this I have to paste the university enrollment number. When I will paste the university enrollment number the system is going to find out that this student exists in the system or not. If he exists a menu will pop up down and I will be able to click on the menu. This is the first student that I have enrolled in my course. Say for example, I have to enroll a couple of more students. All I have to do is just copy the university ID, paste it in the section, and I will have the name of the students coming up. And I will be just clicking on the names of the students. Make sure that you will enroll all the students as only the students. Do not select any of the above options because in that case, additional privileges will be available to the students, which may be dangerous for the system as such. So whenever you are done with the complete enrollment procedure, all you have to do is select and enroll. But before that, please make sure, in case if you want to make the students default, you can give him unlimited enrollment. That means that the student will not be deleted in any ways. However, you can give the enrollment based on certain days also. Say for example, your semester lasts for approximately 180 days, that is six months. So in case, if you will take 180 days, this enrollment will be done for 180, and after that, the students will not be able to visit this course. However, his grades and other details will remain with you as a course instructor. But for the time being, if we will leave this option, and let it be for an unlimited period of time as a default. You can just select the students, find out inside this bar, and just click on Enroll Selected Users. So you will see that all the users that you have selected are appearing in the list over here. Along with the students, you will be able to see the instructor details also, as well as the manager details also. So it becomes practically very easy. Other side, if you want to disconnect a student from the system, say for example by mistake, the enrollment number you have selected is wrong and you don't want this student, you can immediately go on this unenroll button and click on so that the student will be enrolled with the help of this option. As soon as you will click this, the student will not be able to visit your course and he will not be available to access all the files and the resources that you are trying to provide this student inside your system. So in this video, we understood how we can add participants to our course. And please make sure that you will have no groups over here for the benefit of your course. That will be easy for you to do many things with the help of no group version. Thank you very much for watching this video.